All right, guys, welcome back. We're actually going to stop at a car shop here while we're here in Las Vegas, the awesome car shop, which was featured on an episode of Chasing Cardboard. So let's go on in. Nice to meet this you. This is Ryan. Hey Ryan, nice to meet you. <laughs> Just went out of business. Oh what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so so it's called Card Score. Basically, it's the machine right up oh, there. Oh, it's one right there. Okay. Yep, it's that Got one. Got it. Yeah, um, all right. Basically, it just it would just scan your cards for you. Um, just give you just a general idea of like exactly. how it presents. Exactly. Yeah. So any anything I believe is above ninety five would convert to a PSA ten. So. Oh wow. Yeah. Any yeah. any I think ninety was a nine. Pretty reliable. Yeah, yeah it was so. pretty reliable. It was a great idea, but it just didn't work out at the end. So didn't yeah. catch on. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Especially like older stuff. It's like yeah. the eye appeal thing is kind of hard to kind of catch sometimes. But exactly. yeah. Yeah. I picked up the gold version of this one not too long ago. Oh really? Yeah, I'm super happy. With it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's too cool. Yeah, I got to get the uh, Ishiro for the same set at some point. So yeah, the gold version. So gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm trying to get all the stars and Hall of Famers from 2001 and the sure. gold parallels. Oh, so. okay. Yep. This collection? Yep. No, the, everything, oh, wow. everything okay. in these cases. These are the boxes that came from that collection, right? In that five, video? Five, five times of it in the back. Really? <laughs> Still? <laughs> When Raleigh's fingers were the kid, this is from his Raleigh personal the collection. Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> then he got into some Pokemon, so there's a Pokemon slab oh, no, there really? as well. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know where Raleigh fingers is, Ryan? Hall of Fame baseball pitcher, reliever. Oh, wow. So he collected cards as a kid. This is his cards? These are his cards. I guess yes. he kept them in pretty good condition, didn't you? Yep, exactly. Get some stuff. Oh yeah, we both will. Are you sure? Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that you. That just came out. Series one. Really shocked. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Look at that. Check those out, man. Wow. Awesome. I like that <laughs> one. That one's crazy. Today, Uncle. I'm pleased. Yeah, happy for what you picked up too. Yeah, pretty happy. Yeah. Okay, all right. It's my first. It's my first set of Japanese cards. Uh, Ever? Yeah. That's cool. Is that a, like a big difference? Like, mm, it's just different. Oh, it Pocket yeah. monsters. Thanks for letting us come around today. Oh yeah, no Talk problem. For a little bit. Absolutely. Thank you guys for stopping by. All right, Uncle Mitch, what did we get today? All right, we got a few things while we're here at the awesome card shop. It's a great experience, really great inventory here, especially looking for like modern stuff for sure. Um, but uh, what I failed to pick up here, off the vintage rack, if you will, was a Red Heart George Kell, PSA 6. Nice. Really happy, it's the first one I've gotten in my collection from this product. Talk, probably do another little thing on that later on there. And we got a 1950 Roy Campanella Bowman. This was actually a card procured by Chasing Cardboard and sold here at the shop. So we got a card that was actually from the show itself. 
All right, and then we're gonna actually open up, because it is the first week that this product came out, we're gonna open up one pack from series one from 2023. And they mass produced this product, so I don't know what's gonna be in here, if there's gonna be anything really, kind of really awesome or not, so. Here's what the base cards look like. Probably seen a lot of that already on YouTube. So we got Trevor Larnack, Trent Grisham, look at that. Byron Buxton, Jose Ramirez, oh, backwards now. Aaron Ashby. What do you think of the design, Ryan? You like it? I like it. It's a little bit different. I haven't seen yeah. baseball cards like that before. I like the ones where they've had the picture of the player or at least on top of the player before. Yeah. Um, not in a little while, though. So it's kind of a throwback to some previous designs. Yeah, because I know the ones we opened were too. One thing I mm -hmm. like, don't like as much about them is, like, in the last few years, there hasn't been much variation on what the back looks like. Mm. They used to do some creative things with the backs. These are just kind of very bland, uh, in my opinion. But... A lot of people love the product, so I'm not going to really knock it here. Robert Perez, Adrian Hauser, Future Stars, Cal Raleigh. That's kind of interesting design. You know, Cedric Mullins, Alex Wood. So we do have a card that's. Do we have enough cards upside down? No, we don't. Yeah, I thought we had one maybe like short print. Jonah Bride, Pavin Smith, and Jake Cronenworth. I don't think there's anything too special out of these packs here, so not that I can see on the back that there's anything numbered or anything that I may have missed. But that's cool. That's why I only got one of them and I didn't buy a whole happy box. So. <laughs> but kudos to those who like doing that. Not a knock whatsoever. Hope you had good luck pulling stuff there. But All right. We're going to head on out.